So a few days ago, Apple released a new ultra-wide option among other features that are part of Vision OS Beta to the two updates. And I'm going to totally be honest, at first I thought using physical ultra-wide monitors was not really my thing. I currently have separate physical monitors with arms that work well because they provide you with a lot of flexible configurations, right? I can move them around depending on how I want them and I'm not constrained to a specific configuration. But after using the ultra wide option with Vision Pro for about a week or so and having the ability to use special apps all running simultaneously, that completely changed my initial thoughts. Okay, if you currently don't have the beta version or haven't updated to the release version, which I believe will happen sometime in December, according to a couple of sources that I looked at, then simply go to settings, general, software update, and make sure to update to vision beta to that two or greater. So the update will take approximately 20 to 30 minutes, but it is definitely worth the wait. And in case you're wondering how big is in size, then you're looking at about 8.99 gigabytes. Also, one thing that I noticed during this process is that if you try to find the new ultra wide and wide modes after updating your Vision Pro, but you cannot find them, then that just means that you need to update your Mac computer to Mac OS Sequoia 15.2 beta or greater. And it looks like we have two new modes, wide and also ultra wide, which prior to this release, there wasn't really a feature called modes and you simply were taken to a normal mode. Also looks like Apple added a new floating button that allows you to quickly toggle between normal, wide, and also the ultra wide modes. Now, how do these options affect the resolution, right? Well, it is crazy how many pixels can be rendered into these virtual displays. For instance, if we use the new ultra wide mode, we get a very high resolution display that to be honest, I never thought we would ever get here, but seriously, the resolution is 10,240 by 2,880, which provides an equivalent of two 5K displays side by side. I know this sounds pretty insane, so now what about the wide resolution? Well, it gives you a max resolution of 6,720 by 2,880, but it is supposed to provide you with a middle ground between the normal mode and also the ultra wide mode. So Apple also added a second big improvement to Vision OS 2.2 which is the audio playback, where the audio from your virtual displays will play directly from the Vision Pro headset, which personally I found it to be a huge improvement as it provides you with a more immersive audio experience without relying on the connected Mac speakers. All right, we have one more feature to talk about, which I am really looking forward to, especially if you're doing development, you wanna look at those small pixels, that is the display quality improvements that were added to Vision OS 2.2. So to demonstrate that, here's a look at how the ultra wide monitor looks like at about two to three feet away. The text is pretty sharp and the virtual objects look beautiful. It is also so responsive when using Adobe Premiere and other applications that is no different than working directly with my physical monitor. Overall, it does look way better than the prior version. And if you notice and pay close attention to the latency between both virtual monitors, you're going to be able to tell the movements of blocks that you're seeing right now are not as smooth during animations as reflected on Vision OS 2.2 Beta. And here we have two bonus features that I'd like to show you that released prior to Vision OS Beta 2.2. First is the new gesture menu option, which can be triggered based on our palm direction and allows you to cycle through options to bring up the apps area, as well as the control center and the volume adjustment menu. The second bonus feature is how not only your hands are segmented, but also your keyboard when using Mac Mirror. This is such an essential feature when working from your virtual monitors. Well, I am looking forward to hearing your thoughts about these new features, and I can't wait to see what Apple keeps improving moving forward. I'm going to leave you with a question as well, and that is, do you currently use ultra wide monitors? Do you see yourself basically replacing your ultra wide monitors by using this new setup that looks really cool. Let me know in the comments also if you can like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. That's going to help me in making a lot more videos about Vision OS and also XR in general. Big thanks to my patrons for supporting my content. Thank you very much everyone and happy XR coding.